All right. Welcome to All I Mouse TV. My name is Jake's Animo, as you all know. Today we have a challenging exponential equation, a tough exponential equation. Now, there are some questions. You just look at them by try and error method. You get straight answer. But there are some of them, they are rhetorical and ones like this. Okay, so how do we solve this um, challenging exponential equation? Yeah, we're going to make use of some uh, special uh, functions. Okay, and so the question reads, we have x to the power of 2 equal to minus 5 ln of x. What there will be the possible value of x? Now, if you look at this equation, we are to look for two values of x that will satisfy this equation. So how do we get the two values? To this um, exponential challenge. If you look at this question carefully, you discover that the left hand side of the equation will give us an increasing function, and the right hand side will give us a decreasing function. So, at what point will these two graphs meet if we are to plot the graph? Now, when of the reason why I don't dwell so much on uh, graph because uh, I'm not using the graphical method. Okay, if I were to use the graphical method, then I would dwell more on how the graph will look like and at what point in time both of them will meet. Now, before going to today's channel, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do well to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. So without much waste of time, let's take our solution to this exponential equation. So the question we put it on x to the power of 2 equal to minus 5 ln of x. Now the number one thing we have to do here is to move this term on the right hand side to the left hand side. So we're going to have this to be x to the power of 2 plus 5 ln of x equal to 0. Here, yeah, let's divide by x to the power of 2. I will tell you why we are divided by x to the power of 2 and not by 5 ln of x, okay, as time goes on. So if we divide by x to the power of 2, we equally divide this by x to the power of 2 and also x to the power of 2 because whatever you do to the right-hand side, you must do to the left-hand side of our equation. And so this we go with this. So we are now left here with 1 plus your 5 ln of x all over x to the power of 2 equal to 0. Good. Now, very easy now. We look at this. Move this one to the right-hand side of the equation. So our equation will now become your 5 ln of x all over x to the power of 2 equal to your minus 1. Let me write it where minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this expression on the left-hand side. I want to remove this division sign here, okay? So remember the law of which says that if you have, um, let's say if you have 1 all over x to the power of a, this is equal to x to the power of minus a. So if we succumb to this rule, we can rewrite the expression we have here now. And so let's proceed on this other side and see what this gives us. Okay. So from here, let's rewrite the left-hand side of our equation. This will now give us here your 5 ln of s dot your x to the power of minus 2. Okay then equal to minus 1. Okay, now look at what we have here now. I can rewrite this x to the power of minus 2. According to the law, which says that if you have, um, if you have your e to the power of ln of a, this is equal to a, because the is to base e. So we are having e to the power of ln base e. So this, this will leave. It will still give us a here. So if we apply that here, then we can rewrite this s to the power of minus 2 as here. So we're going to have this to be our 5. So we have 5 ln of x dot your e to the power of ln of x raised to minus 2 equal to minus 1. Good. Any confusion? No. Okay, so what do we have here is same thing as what we have here now. So what is trying to play out here now is we are trying to uh, 
get a pattern or a method where we can introduce our Lambert W function into the system. But before we can introduce that, dx must be equal to this. So we have this to the power of minus 2. So let's think of, think of bringing such here. Now, if you look at this 5, 5 is a prime number. There's no way we can simplify it to bring out two, uh, these two from here. So what I will do here is this. is to uh, multiply uh, both sides of the equation by minus 2. Okay, so if I do that, I'm going to have this to be um, a minus 2, okay, bracket into um, bracket 5 into the ln of x dot e to the power of ln of x to the power of minus 2, okay? This is equal to, so we have here, minus 1 times minus 2. Okay, so with this, look at what I will do next here. It's easy. I want to eliminate this 5 here. So how do I eliminate this 5? So I will divide through by 5. So divide through here by 5, divide through here by 5. And so this, we go with this. So here, I'm now left with minus 2 ln of your x dot e to the power of ln of x to the power of minus 2 equal to minus 1 times minus 2 will give us 2 all over our 5 here. Easy. All right, so let's look up here. The game is playing out now. Here, we are having the negative power here. So let's move this base to this side according to the law of logarithm we say that if you have a log your p to the power of k it said move this k back then this will now give us here k log p okay so if we succumb to this rule we can move this number here okay to this part here like this all right so if we do that then we're going to have this to be your ln of x to the power of minus 2 dot our e to the power of ln of s to the power of minus 2 equal to your 2 all over 5. Very easy. So what do we do next? Yeah, now. We now have this equal to this. So can I introduce our lambda w function to this expression? Yeah, now. Okay. So if we do that, we're going to have this. But first of all, what does the lambda w function say? It says that if you have, um, let's assume you have a dot e to the power of a, then if you take the lambda w function of this, this will give us a. So if we put this in mind, putting this into consideration, we can apply that here because here we have what we have here. So let's proceed on this side and see what well, this gives us in turn. All right. So considering this, we can take the lambda w function of everything here. So we're going to have here the lambda w function of the ln of x to the power of minus 2 dot e to the power of ln of x to the power of minus 2 close bracket equal to the lambda function of 2 all over 5. Easy. Good. Now, from here, we're going to have our equation to be your ln of s to minus 2 equals to the lambda w function of 2 all over 5. Easy. Okay. So, we can eliminate our e here by, sorry, our natural law by introducing our e. So, we have e to the power of ln. Okay, this ln, please. ln of x to the power of minus 2. We also introduced that here. So we have here e to the power of lambda w function of 2 all over 5. Of course, you know, this, we go with this. So here we now have here s to the power of minus 2 is equal to your e to the power of lambda w function of 2 all over 5. Okay, so if we take the reciprocal of um, both sides of the equation, this will give us here our x squared equal to your um, 1 all over e to the power of w bracket 2 all over 5. Okay, here we're looking for s. So we take the square root of both sides. 
take the square root of both sides. So we put plus minus here. This, this will leave. So we have therefore our x is equal to plus minus the square root. Okay, the square root, square root of your one all over your e, the power of our lambda w function to all over five. Okay, so here we have two roots to our x, q, e, d, q, e, d. This is the square root place covering the x. So, all right, so like I said, we have, um, we have to solve for two roots. So here we have your plus minus, okay? Now you could, I swear, still simplify this down to get our uh, numer numerical values, but uh, I stop here, okay? Now, so if you learn something good from this uh, video, from this challenging exponential equation, from this how to solve top exponential equation, then give the video a thumbs up, okay? If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, always turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you just watched here. At Online Mass TV, we drop videos all the time, okay? Thanks for always be there. You've encouraged us in the time past and you are still there encouraging us. You are the reason for this channel and we're proud of you. Thanks for the encouragement. We are very, very grateful and we promise to do nothing but to put our best into what we do. Thanks for us again. Remember, Jake loves you and every one of us at Online Mass TV love you. Bye for now.